Um, I'm Dr. Krishna Chaitanya. I'm the scientific head at Oasis Center for Reproductive Medicine. Uh, we are a chain of fertility uh, centers in India. Uh, we are a leading voice in the fertility industry. Um, today's meeting is all about uh, the World IVF Day and World Embryologist Day. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful moment. Uh, the field of infertility has finished uh, 40 years. It was way back in the year 1978. Uh, we had the birth of the first test tube baby in uh, London, United Kingdom. Uh, since then, till now, four decades of a lot of research, a lot of scientific developments, um, and a lot of success stories. It, it, it's a wonderful um, uh, development and growth in the field that we have seen. And it's a proud moment for us in India, uh, because India, in uh, terms of uh, fertility, is no less. I think we stand on par with the Western world when it comes to offering these fertility treatments uh, to all the people who uh, need them. Uh, and if we really see how we have grown in the last 40 years, I think to start with, the major challenge and concern was the success with these fertility treatments. Uh, with a lot of research and uh, science and technology improving, I think we have reached a point where we can offer around 50 to 60 percent a success to the couples uh, coming forward to uh, seek these fertility uh, treatments. Uh, there's so many advancements that we get to see. A uh, few of them uh, uh, breakthrough uh, developments that, if I have to mention, is uh, one is uh, preservation uh, or freezing the eggs or sperms or embryos. You can freeze the testicular tissue or ovarian tissue. Um, so. Uh, Age is something that is uh, becoming a major issue of late. A woman would want to uh, defer their childbearing for a lot of reasons, career being the most important of it. Um, always there's a bigger dilemma there. You know, do I really pick the career path or do I pick the path of pregnancy and childbirth which would put uh, a full stop to uh, the career at times. So in all such women, there's a wonderful option of freezing your eggs when you're egg, uh, young and uh, when you are uh, achieved what you want to achieve in your career uh, and you found the right partner, come back and uh, using these frozen uh, eggs or oocytes, uh, you could uh, conceive and deliver. So that's a wonderful uh, invention and a development that's uh, caught up in the field. Uh, the next um, wonderful thing that has happened in the field is helping the cancer patients. A lot of times, uh, uh, cancer is devastating. Um, uh, you know, chemo and radiotherapy and saving the person's life is the most important aspect. But what people forget is when chemo and radiotherapy is given, the uh, ovary and the testis are going to get damaged. Their production potential of the ovary and testis is going to come down. So now with the treatments available, they will live longer. So there will be a point they would want to get married and have kids of their own. And uh, because of the treatment that they've had, that gets very difficult. Uh, so again, before they undergo these cancer treatments, we would strongly advise they freeze their eggs and sperms. Uh, and after they've finished their treatments, if they're finding it difficult to conceive, they can come back and through these frozen eggs and sperms, we could help complete their dream of having uh, kids and a family and a parenthood, uh, which is what all of us uh, you know, strive hard, you know, having a wonderful family who can uh, share uh, happiness, sorrow, and everything in life, and that's what life is all about for us. Uh, the next aspect in which we've grown is uh, the genetic field. Uh, there are a lot of times where there are a lot of genetic diseases which uh, there are no answers. And there is a higher chance that if these people having genetic problems conceive, the child will also get affected with the genetic problem. So now through something called as pre-implantation genetic screening or PGS, we can actually screen these embryos um, before even the lady can conceive and this will increase her chance of conceiving a child with, uh, which is healthy with, without the existing genetic problem. Uh, so that's a phenomenal development and that's the latest in the field uh, what uh, we get to see. So these four decades, uh, I think there's been a phenomenal improvement that we uh, get to see. Uh, the field has uh, um, you know, spread its wings in various directions. The awareness has gone up, the accessibility for these treatments is also going up. Uh, all that um, I would request the couples to do uh, is if you're really coming across difficulty in conceiving, all that I would want you is to see your 
doctor at the right time, seek the right advice. I'm sure there's nothing that the medical field cannot offer at this point in time. It's all about exploring the right opportunities at the right time. Thank you. Thank you.